नमस्कार आई एम आदर्श वेलकम टू आदर्श एजुकेशन सोसाइटी गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स स्टैंडर्ड फोर सब्जेक्ट मैथ्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू कंटिन्यू अवर चैप्टर ट्वेल्व हाउ हैवी हाउ लाइट वी विल कंटिन्यू विथ पेज नंबर वन थर्टी एट ग्राम्स एंड किलोग्राम्स नेम फाइव थिंग्स दैट वी यूजली बाय in grams and in kilograms we have to list out some of the things which we buy in grams and some of the things which we buy in kilograms so here i have made a table which things of the things which we buy in grams and in kilograms for example turmeric we buy turmeric 200 grams or 250 uh, 250 grams so we buy turmeric in grams in the same way almonds 200 gram 250 grams etc tea packet we bring a tea packet of 250 gram gloves we bring 50 grams or 100 grams we don't buy it in kgs mustard seeds also we buy in grams 200 grams 250 grams etc then next is in kilograms the things which we buy in kilograms are tomatoes tomatoes we buy in kgs 1 kg 2 kg potatoes sugar salt and wheat so these are some of the things that which we buy in kgs then the next which is heavier which is heavier 1 kg cotton or 1 kg iron which one will be heavier a cotton or an iron iron now sir she threw a heavy watermelon at me he threw a 1 kg pillo of cotton so i threw 1 kg watermelon yesterday you said that the weight of 1 kg cotton and 1 kg melon is equal now here there is a brother and a sister they are fighting you, you might also be fighting at your home with your brothers and sisters here a brother and sister they are fighting so the brother throw the the brother threw 1 kg cotton at her at his sister so she also threw a 1 kg watermelon at him now which one will hurt more 1 kg cotton or 1 kg melon watermelon which one will hurt more yes 1 kg watermelon will hurt more why it is so because the cotton is fluffy and the watermelon is solid solid the watermelon is more harder than the cotton so when the sister throws a watermelon on her brother he gets hurted now on the next page dinesan went shopping dinesan went to shop and bought some things his younger brother cut the end of the bill where the weights were written now dinesan went to a shop and buy something but when he returns home his younger brother cuts the side of his bill cuts the side edge of his bill guess and write the weight of each thing he bought in grams or kilograms now the part of the bill in which the grams and kilograms was written was cutted by his brother so how can we guess which one is in gram and which one is in kilogram so let us write which is gram and which is kilogram first one is rice 5 rice cannot be 5 gram so that will be 5 kg then the other is sugar 1 kg next is the mustard seeds the mustard seeds cannot be in kg can anybody bring 10 kg of mustard seeds no we need 10 grams so that will be 10 grams then the next is wheat wheat will be 3 grams no wheat will be 3 kg then the next dal dal will be 500 grams 
Then the next T. T will be two fifty grams. Then pepper. Pepper will be twenty five grams. Now the next car and the tractor. Ritu is weighing her toys. She wants to know if her tractor is heavier than her car. How could how would you help her to find out quickly? Now in one pen, Ritu wants to measure wants to measure the weight of her car and the tractor. She wants to find out which one is heavier, a car or a tractor. So how can she find it? In one pen, she will put a car, and in the other pen, she will put a tractor. So whichever goes down is heavier. Guess which is the heaviest? A real car, a bus, or a tractor? In real, which one is heavier? A real car, a bus, or a tractor? Which is the heaviest? A bus. A bus is the heaviest. Which is the heaviest thing you have seen? Now we are talking about vehicles here. So we will say which vehicle is the heaviest? Which is the heaviest vehicle? A train. Train is the heaviest vehicle. Now on the next page. Elephant. Elephant's weight. Once a king had a pain in his stomach. None of the palace doctors could cure his pain. Now once a king was having pain in his stomach. No one could cure his pain. He was crying with the pain. Oh no, I cannot bear this pain. Then the king announced in the in his kingdom that in his palace that the king then said, "Anyone who cures my pain, anyone who cures my pain, will get gold equal to the weight of an elephant." Now. When nobody could cure him, he announced in his palace that those who will cure me, जो मुझे ठीक कर देगा, what reward he will give him? He will give one uh, gold of, he will give him gold equal to the weight of the of an elephant. He announced in his palace that anyone who cures cures him. Will get a reward. What reward he will get? Gold equal to the weight of an elephant. On hearing this, doctors from all the country came, but only Doctor Vaidika could cure him. So when all everybody heard about this announcement that uh, the king is going to give gold in the reward to anyone who cures him. So everybody tried to cure the king, but only Doctor Vedika could cure him. Oh, oh, great! My pain has gone. Thank you, Doctor Vedika. Now the king is feeling well, so he is thanking to Doctor Vedika. So can I have my reward now, sir? Now she is asking for her reward. But the greedy king didn't want to give her the gold, so he thought of a trick. The king was very greedy. He did not want to give the gold to Doctor Vedika, so he thought of a trick. Okay, first find the weight of an elephant, then I will give you that much gold. So what did he told Doctor Vedika? First you find out the weight of an elephant. Then I will give you that much gold. Whatever will be the weight of an elephant. First, you find out the weight of an elephant. Vedika was unhappy. When she reached home, she told her daughter the whole story. Now, when the king told her that first you bring, uh, first you bring me the weight of an elephant. Then I will give you the gold. Doctor Vedika was unhappy hearing that. Now she goes to her home. 
Then she discussed this matter with her daughter. How can I be an elephant? Where will I get such a big balance? Now she is thinking that where can I get such a big elephant? And if I get an elephant, how will I measure the elephant? How will I get so much big scale to measure an elephant? Don't worry ma, I have an idea. Tell the king to arrange an elephant and a big goat. So her daughter is telling that don't worry ma, you just tell the king to arrange a, uh, an elephant and a goat. Next morning Dr. Vedika invited the king near a river. The king came with an elephant and a big goat. I think she is a fool. How will she weigh an elephant with a boat? Now as Dr. Vedika asked him, the king brought a, bought an elephant and a boat near the river. Now he is thinking that what a foolishness. How can anyone measure a boat, an elephant? How can one measure an elephant with a boat? Now let us see how they have, how Dr. Vedika or her daughter has measured an elephant, has weighed an elephant. Vedika's daughter went into the river. She marked on the boat how much it sank in the river. Now her daughter, she goes in the river and marks on the boat. बोट कहाँ खड़ी होती है पानी में खड़ी होती है ना तो वो पानी में जाके बोट के ऊपर मार्क कर क्या आती है कि अभी बोट का लेवल कितना है she is marking on the boat कि अभी बोट कितनी वो अभी बोट का लेवल कितना है then she asked them to bring the elephant into the boat the boat sank deeper so she marked the new water level on the boat now her daughter is asking the king's man to bring an elephant in the boat. Ab wo bolti hai ki ab aap elephant ko boat ke andar le ke aao. Then the elephant is standing in the boat. Elephant is standing in the boat. So when the elephant stands in the boat, boat aur niche chahiye thoda. It will stand up to this boat elephant ke wazan se boat thoda aur niche jati hai phir uski daughter aur ek nishan laga deti hai aur ek mark laga deti hai ki boat kahan tak dubi kahan tak andar gayi then she asked them now imagine what happened next and complete the story discuss with your friends how vedika's daughter found the weight of an elephant now we have to imagine what happened next. आगे क्या हुआ होगा ये हमें सोच के बताना है. तो क्या हुआ होगा आगे? Then her daughter told them to remove the elephant. बाद में क्या बोला उसकी daughter ने कि आप अब elephant को remove कर दो. Then she asked the king to put the gold inside the boat and put that much gold till the boat sank up to this level. फिर उसकी daughter ने king से क्या कहा कि आप इसमें इतना सोना डालो, इतना gold डालो, जब तक कि boat का level यहाँ तक नहीं आ जाता. So that will be जो equal to the weight of an elephant. Have you got it? He will put as much gold as it reaches to this mark. In this way, she will get the gold. Equal to the weight of an elephant. Now on the next page. How much the chair weighs? Anamika wants to weigh this chair using the weighing machine. Can you suggest a way for doing this? Now you can see a weighing machine there. This weighing machine is used by us to weight our Weight is it to measure our weight? This weighing machine is used by us to measure our weight. 
but how can she put a chair on this measuring scale so can you suggest a way for doing this yes we can suggest what we can do is take the chair in our hands then measure then we should stand on the measuring scale so then we will get measure of both us our measure and the plus the chair's measure for example we get the measure 85 total weight will be 85 then we will put the chair aside and then we will measure take the measure of our self first our weight is 65 kg so what will be the weight of the chair so the weight of the chair will be 20 kg in other way we can do is put a the other way we can do is keep the chair sleeping on the measuring scale keep the chair sleeping on the measuring scale so that we can take its measurement and the other method is we can put a ply on the uh, on the measuring scale and then we can put the chair on it then suppose we get the measure is 25 kg then we will remove the chair from the ply and then measure the weight of an ply so what will be the weight of an ply 5 so what will be the weight of the chair that is 20 kg next one broken stones up to sells firewood there was a stone in his shop which weighed 13 kg he used it to make firewood one day the stone fell down and broke in three pieces which weighed 2 kg 5 kg and 6 kg now abdu was selling firewood he was having a big stone of 13 kg one day the stone fell down and it broke into three pieces and how does it fell down how does it broke into three pieces suppose this is the stone it broke into three pieces one was of 5 kg other one was of 6 kg and the other was of 2 kg it broke in it like this but abdu was very smart he used those three pieces to weigh firewood of all weights from 1 kg to 9 kg so the abdu did not throw away the stones ki ab ye toot gaya hai isko fek do no he didn't throw out his this stones what did he do he do what did he do he used the stones to measure small weights from 1 to 9 ah weight of this bundle is 1 kg how we can see how abdu is weighing 1 kg now we can see here that we don't have a 1 kg so if abdu wants to weigh 1 kg what he will do in one pan he will put 5 kg and in the other pan he will put 6 kg and in the other pan he will put 6 kg now the pan which is having 5 kg he will put some firewood in that so what will be the measure of the firewood that will be 6 minus 5 is equal to 1 kg in one pan he will put 6 kg and in the other pan he will put 5 kg then 6 minus 5 is equal to 1 kg so he will get 1 kg of firewoods next page now you show how abdu will use the stone pieces to weigh 4 kg of firewood now if he wants 4 kg how will he measure in one pan he will keep 6 kg and in the other pan he will keep 2 in the other pan he will keep 2 kg in the other pan he will keep 2 kg so 6 minus 2 will be 4 kg 
Then the next three kg of fine oil. If we want three kg, what we will put? In one we will put five kg and in the other we will put two kg. So that will be five minus two is equal to three kg. Five minus two is equal to three kg. Now if we want seven kg. If we want seven kg, what we will do? In one pan we will put five kg and two kg, and in the other pan we will put five kg. So five kg plus two kg, seven kg. So if he wants, if he wants four kg, in one he will put six kg and in the other he will put two kg. So six minus two will be four. And other so five and other he will put five moles. So what will be the weight of five moles? Four kg. Here. 5 kg minus 2 kg. Rest is 3 kg of firewood. So what will be the weight of firewood? 3 kg. Here it is 7 kg only. So all firewood of 7 kg. Okay. So let us stop here. Next we will continue in our next video. Till that, thank you, students. Thank you for joining us.